Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Reagan. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare chronicles video. I filmed this a few weeks back and the footage got messed up and I finally have had time today to sit down and refilm this. Refilming is never fun. Usually the first take is the best take. Like I really liked what I was doing creatively with the last set of footage like I was doing it more interactive and kind of like a chatty like get unready with me using all the skincare products I've been using for like the last couple months but yeah sometimes life happens so I'm just gonna sit and talk about the products I'm going to talk about what was in the January uh box walla and beauty heroes boxes and then I'm also going to talk about what is in the February boxes, so the current boxes. So yeah, uh, let's just get started. I'm going to share all the products I've been using thus far for the last couple of, I guess it was like weeks. I'm on to a different skincare routine now because that'll be like featured soon and I'm focusing on one brand, but I still have thoughts I wanna share about these products. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's roll in. All right, so because I already, again, filmed this, I've already unboxed the subscription boxes that I get that are more skincare related. Uh, it's just how the cookie crumbled. But last month in Beauty Heroes, we got the Iuna. This is their Terra Viva. So this is like a $500 face cream, guys. And it has a really beautiful color to it. I would only ever get this in a box. Just saying 500 is way too much for me to spend on one product. It has a very nice texture. It does not have the traditional Iuna scent to it, which is really like heavy and fragranced. This kind of smells like licorice but with like a creamy citrus twist to it. So it's lightweight, it's nice, it's moisturizing. I can't say it's like my favorite ever product and I think it, a big part of that is just the price. Like yes, it comes in this beautiful crafted clay thing, but I don't know, it's just not something I would like be like, oh my gosh guys, it was life changing. Like I've tried a lot of face cream and this one, again, for almost, I believe it's like $4.95 or something, almost $500. There's just other good stuff out there. Now, do I think it's nice to get in a box? Yes, I do. So I think that's where like the value in Beauty Heroes is, is you get to try stuff that maybe you otherwise wouldn't, you know, like again, I would not probably get a $500 face cream. Uh, the texture is nice. It feels nice. I just have conflicting thoughts on it because that's something where the price really does come into play, where it's like... I know I didn't pay $500 for it, but I don't even know what to expect out of a $500 cream. You know, like I just, I have my limits, of course. I think like $200 is like my upperest limit or upmost, I guess, limit for a skincare product. Let me know your utmost limit. Everyone's is different, but for me, just $500, like that's way out of my normal like budget or what I would be willing to spend on like one product. But again, nice to get in Beauty Heroes. This month's uh, products are the Earthwise Beauty Black Lotus Firming Concentrate. So I think I've had this before. So I didn't open it because I think I've had this before and it's decent. I actually am more excited about the Isadora Face Balm. So it smells like honey and florally so i really liked this uh the only thing i'll say about this face balm is two boxes ago so the december box we did get this arcana balm which i'll talk about i actually like this earthwise one more it has a really nice like it's a balm but it almost has like a creamy texture to it and i like the scent more i just like the experience a bit more I, again I really like this scent like bathe me in that and I like that it has like a honey base to it so yeah I like this uh overall again I didn't reopen this because I'm pretty sure I've used it before but yeah uh but yeah that is Beauty Heroes kind of wrap up the last couple months I like Beauty Heroes because I get things that I 
And honestly, that's why I do boxes is because I get things I might not otherwise purchase. Like a lot of Iuna stuff I've gotten from like Beauty Heroes. And it's a pretty popular luxury brand in the clean space. And it's nice to try it that way because again, I just would never pay $500 for one face cream. That's just not my style. Okay, and then the box Walla box. So this would be the December box and then I have the February box. So this is the C Shield. So this is kind of an interesting vitamin C serum because it's a serum, but it's kind of like an emulsion between an oil and a like aloe. So it isn't an oil and a water emulsion, it's an oil and aloe, which is kind of cool. So I do prefer something because the finish of it is more oily. I prefer something that the finish just texture wise is more watery and like seeps into the skin. So that's a totally personal preference thing. It's a cool product and again, it's a different texture. So that was cool to experience, but I can't say it's like my favorite vitamin C serum. I'm going to talk about my favorite vitamin C serum in a second that like blows every single vitamin C I've ever tried out of the water, but that one, good stuff. Okay, and then this was the Time Traveler Skin Alchemist. It's a renewing face cream. I actually liked this more than I liked the Iuna one because it's, first off, I kind of like the scent. It's like a light olive oil floral and it's a little bit lighter weight. I like almost watery moisturizers and this is a little bit more like borderline like between a cream and like kind of a watery texture. So I just like this one more. Um, kind of an interesting product brand. It just felt nice on the skin, didn't break me out, had you know, more floral light scent to it. And then this month's in box, voila, I actually saved the box. I got a hand cream, which at first, I'll just be straight up. I was kind of like a hand cream because hand creams are kind of like a boring product to get, but I actually have used this quite a bit, if you can see. This is a great hand cream. So it's from this brand, Virite New Zealand, and this has Japanese lemon, vanilla, and jasmine. This stuff smells amazing, guys. And I actually really like, it's not an oily hand cream. And with the pandemic, I have tried many hand creams because, you know, we've been washing our hands a lot more, yada, yada. And my hands have been drier. And it's also like colder season out. But this, so lightweight, so absorbent, and it's just non-greasy. So that's what I really like about it. I like the scent too, that, is an interesting combination and just feels really nice on the hands and my hands look really nice after I use it. So yeah, don't knock things sometimes. Like first impression, not good. But then once I like kept it in the bathroom and used it after I washed my hands a few times, I was like, this is pretty nice. And then this was an interesting one. So I have another mask that's kind of similar to this. This is the Verite Good Night Mask. It's a recovery and repair sleep mask. So it is skin defense, repair, renew, firming, and distress. So it's like a jelly mask. It's very interesting in terms of consistency. The smell is kind of florally like a tea. And what's interesting about this, it isn't, when you see these jelly products, you usually think, or at least I do, it's like an exfoliating product. This is a moisture based product. So it adds more like moisture. It's almost like a thicker serum, like a thicker jelly serum that like you wear overnight as a face sleep mask. So it's kind of interesting. And I have another one by nature of things that I had been using that's very similar in consistency. So overall, I am very happy with this month's box. And I was actually out of the two products I was most impressed with hand cream just because it was something that like I was expecting to really not be good. And then it was really, really good. So yeah. Okay. And then let's get into everything else I've been using. Uh, yeah. So this is the Audacite. This is the Montana Harvest Hemp and Sea Buckthorn. So this is Audacite's oil cleanse. And I did like this. So it kind of smells like licorice. But what I really like about it is when you add water, it is emulsifying, so it rinses clean. It doesn't leave like an oily 
finish to it. Like you don't need to remove it with a cloth. You can just remove it with water and then go in for your second cleanse, which I love. So I like this enough. I wish the scent of it was a little lighter because I'm not a huge like licorice scent lover, but it's really effective. And I did like it because it removed my makeup nicely. And like the scent didn't get me that bad where I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is horrible. It was just something I'm like, hmm, not my favorite situation. And that one came in the detox box. So I think maybe the December, or November, I can't remember exactly which one. And then this Arcana, this is their Light Wave Enzyme Cleansing Balm. So this is from the Beauty Heroes December box. So this also runs clean. It's a really cool color. It's just scent wise doesn't smell like much. The color again is really cool like neon. Uh, it rinsed clean too. It's a nice cleansing balm. Can't say it's like my favorite ever. This brand to me was just I hate to say it, but it was just kind of boring. Like we got two bombs in that box and I wasn't like, oh my God, this is amazing. It was just kind of like, hmm. I used them. They were nice, but I probably wouldn't like repurchase them. And I wouldn't think of them first when someone's like, hey, Regan, what's a cleansing bomb? I wouldn't say the Arcana one. So yeah. Okay. And then I have a few cleansers. So this is my shower cleanser. This is I've been using in the shower and I always keep one that's in a plastic bottle in the shower because I don't want glass falling and breaking somehow. So it's a One Love uh, Organics Easy Does It Foaming Cleanser. Does the job. It's a great... Uh, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. It's a gentle cleanser. That's what I wanted to say. But it is a gel, so it does cleanse well. It doesn't strip the skin, and it leaves it feeling nourished and everything. And then this, I have liked quite a bit, and I'm almost empty of it. It's the Tata Harper The Softening Cleanse for Sensitized Skin. And I like this. It's a great morning cleanser. I typically would use it in the morning if I cleanse my face in the morning. Uh... It's an interesting texture. So it's kind of between a cream cleanser and a gel cleanser. Like it does when you add water, like suds up a little. I was going to say foam, but it's not foam. It's more like it suds up a little bit. Like, but it's still really gentle. No fragrance or anything. So if you're into that, I have really liked it. I think it's a good sensitive skin option. And then this I recently got is the Stark Mud Puppy. And I really like the scent of it. Kind of smells like cocoa or something. So this is their solid cleansing balm. So it's a nice soap. And it's a little bit like you have to kind of like work with it a little bit to get it softened down to really get the cleanser out. Meaning like you have to like run it under the water and like go like this a few times back and forth between your hands. But once you get that going, then it's good. Um... What I like about it is how it comes packaged. It has this like drying tray already in here. So great for travel because a lot of bar soaps are not, uh, especially for the face. This can be used for face or body. I have just primarily used it on the face and kept it outside of the shower, but I've liked it. It's kind of like a creamy, it's weird because it's a soap. So you'd think it would suds up more, but it's more like a creamy soap consistency when you add water to it like it isn't super sudsy so kind of cool and then this this is one of the few products from the nature of things that I wasn't obsessed with so it smells like eucalyptus and it smells very heavily of eucalyptus like this smells more like bath salts to me than a face product so it's the nature of things clarifying facial polish beautiful packaging I just don't really like this product because it's very big. I only used it a couple times. It's fine, but I really think it's that scent for me, like that eucalyptus where I'm just like, this smells more like spa, not facial, just like bath time spa. So yeah, I only used it a few times. It's one of those powder exfoliants if you're into that. For me personally, like I like the idea of a powder exfoliant, but I'm telling you they're the product that never ends. Like I still have in my shower a Tatcha, one of their rice polishes, and I have had that literally since the start of my channel almost five years ago. So yeah, like I've had that a long time. And I will say I don't exfoliate daily or anything like that. So that is part of it, but 
I've just had that forever. Like it's gone bad, but the way I use it is I'll use it like to exfoliate my legs and stuff before I shave. But yeah, they're just like the product that never ends. And then a couple of toners slash face mist. So I have been using Evan Healy's Rose Geranium Facial Tonic Hydrosol. I am doing a giveaway with them and it includes this product over on Instagram. So I think that'll still be up when this video goes up. It won't be up forever. So I think it is like the 16th I set on Instagram, but I have liked this. It's a nice hydrating. It smells nice, that Rose Geranium. And I've liked these. So this is for uh, oily combination and hormonal skin. And I really like their branding. You've probably seen them before at Whole Foods. And they have nice little quotes on the back. This one says, adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience, which I'm not a patient person, but I did like this. It was very nice and hydrating and nice to tone the skin after like I've been at hot yoga and then I take a shower and my skin's feeling kind of like uh, parched. That's like my first step. This is another one that I really have liked. This is my second bottle of this. It's the One Love Organics Botanical D Moisture Mist. So this is like an emulsion, uh, I was going to say a mix, I think. Yeah, it's a mix of a toner and almost like a liquid moisturizer. So it's very moisturizing. It's also hydrating too, which moisturizing means you're getting, just my boys so proud of them. But moisturizing means it's adding oil to the skin. Hydrating means it's adding water. So this adds a nice mix of the two. I've really liked it. It doesn't have a heavy scent or every, anything, um, but it's a good one. It's one that I have really liked and been impressed with from them. And then the nature of things. This is their essence, but this is more like a serum. And I really did like this. So it comes in this dropper. That's why I think it's more like a serum. It has a nice fresh scent to it. And I really like this. Very watery, very hydrating on the skin, packaging beautiful. And I just think it's a really nice, and it's, again, it's more of a serum, I would say, than a uh, essence. Because when I think essence, I think more watery, and this is more like jelly. So, yeah. And my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite vitamin C is this. It's the Lil Fox Couture Haute C Bright Serum Concentrate. It has 15% vitamin C, uh, it has vitamin E, and ferlic acid. Using this, guys, I was seeing turnover. My skin looked plump and juicy. Like, my skin looked hydrated. Spots were gone. It was a great one. Great antioxidant. It also has a little bit of, like, exfoliating properties to it, and I just really like this. It's a very watery serum, it's not quite as thin as water, but it's more watery than jelly. And I'm just saying guys, truly, I saw the best results using this. This is a pricey one. I did get this in a beauty hero box, but I will say it's under $200. It's one that's worth it that I've tried and been like, yeah, I just saw the most like bang. And I would say bang for my buck, but it's more like bang in my skin where I'm like, wow, that really, did something and it's only a vitamin c like it's not a retinol it's not a glycolic but it did something like very impressed in that and then i did pull this out and use it a few times because i've really liked it it's a cheeky face organic face cream so what i like about this is the texture so it has a base of cold pressed butters and oils but it also has aloe vera gel too so it's kind of like this very nourishing, moisturizing, and hydrating. And that's what I realized I really like in a moisturizer, but it's also lightweight. So it's just something I've liked about it. It has a really fresh scent to it. And yeah, that's why I pulled it out because it's pretty hydrating and moisturizing as well. And then here's the jelly mask that I was talking about when I was talking about this which one is it? It's right here. This Verte mask that's more jelly. This Nature of Thing mask is very similar. It smells different. So I can't quite place the scent. It's kind of like sweet mixed with citrus, but it is the same or similar gel mask formulation, but it's not an exfoliating product. It's a hydrating product. Um, so it's just interesting. Like both of these remind me 
of kind of like K-Beauty mask or K-Beauty like the glow recipe mask. That's what these remind me of. So they're kind of cool, kind of different. And then this I've been using a little bit as a glycolic and I've been very careful because I've been using that vitamin C to only use this like at night when I wasn't using the vitamin C. So this is the Maya Chia. This is their refreshment. First off, it smells like high C. It smells really good. If you know high C, you know what that smells like. But this does kind of sting the skin. It's very active in feeling, but I do think it does help like resurface the skin and kind of tone everything. And I think that and the vitamin C together, powerhouse products. I have really enjoyed this mask. I've really enjoyed a lot of Maya Chia products. Okay, and this Arcana Balm, I don't know why, but it makes, or maybe it's the color, it reminds me of dandelions. I don't like the scent of it. I just don't, I did use it quite a bit because my skin went through some things with the winter weather and it was fine. But it's just not a favorite. So yeah, like it's fine. I wouldn't recommend it as like the first balm. Like if someone was like, hey, what do you recommend balm wise? I wouldn't say this product. Um, but it's nice to get in a Beauty Heroes box because I get to discover the brand and the products. And I know like, hey, that was okay. Like it worked decently, but it's just not a fave. And then I have been using the Ilia. This is their Lip Wrap Hydrating Lip Mask. And I've made quite a dip in this. So this kind of smells a little bit like lavender and just a really nice hydrating lip balm. It's a little bit thicker though. It is more like a mask, but it is very nice and thick. I do have their new lip products. It's a little thinner. I keep that in my purse. This one I keep in my skincare. I typically like, I'll use it in the morning, but I do use it all the time at night, just as like kind of final steps in the routine and everything. Okay, and then the sunscreen I've been using, this is the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. This is my second bottle of it. Just a great product. I don't get a white cast. It has like this slight pinkish tint to it that isn't a tinted pink. It's just more like it tints the SPF so you don't get white cast. It also has a little bit of illumination to it. It's just a really nice one. Doesn't dry the hell out of my skin. Goes well under makeup. And it's just a favorite SPF product. And I'll probably always have a tube of it. It's also relatively affordable. Like I think this size tube is like $20 or under. Which for a face sunscreen in the clean sphere, like that's really good. Alrighty guys, so I've already have moved on and I've started using a different skincare line and that's what I've been using the last couple of weeks, but I still want to talk about all these products because I did have thoughts on them. There's stuff I wouldn't recommend again, like those bombs, that exfoliant. Uh, yeah, and there's stuff that I really have liked. Like I like the Maya Chia. I love that little Fox Couture vitamin C. It's one of my favorites. I really even have liked the cleansers I talked about, so. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you got any of the boxes as well. Uh, I want to know your thoughts on the Iuna because it's, again, $500. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I hope to see you back here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.